I've been really on my own when I think about it Yeah, my house is not a home when I think about it I've been feeling so alone when I think about it Yeah, nobody really got me when I think about it I'm really on my own when I think about it All right, man, you guys been telling me to check out Ricky Gervais So that's what we doing, man We got Ricky for lyrically incorrect jokes Let's jump up in it I don't want any fat people to feel uncomfortable at one of my gigs, so next time, buy two seats. Oh. I'm, I'm joking, I'm dead, I'm joking, shut up. I'm not having a go, I'm just pointing out, you know. I was listening to uh, the radio in England a few weeks back, Radio 4, quite highbrow, there was a discussion about political correctness, my name came up straight away, right? And there was this woman on there going, oh yeah, well it's, it's not right, um, uh, Ricky Gervais, um, he makes jokes about fat people, um, he wouldn't make jokes about gay people, would he? And being fat is like being gay. What? No it's not. What? <laughs> you can't choose your sexuality. As we've established, you choose whether to eat too much or not, you know? With, with, with your sexuality, you're born, you grow up, you discover you like same-sex relationships, and that's it, you're gay, okay? For being gay to be the same as being fat, you'd have to be born, be straight, grow up knowing you're straight, but gradually and consciously wean yourself onto cock. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're affected by the volcanic ash cloud, um, but I had friends that were stuck all over the world and they missed weddings and funerals and they had to put themselves up in a hotel for extra days that they hadn't budgeted for and they couldn't get their money back because the airlines were saying, no, we can't pay you because the insurance companies won't pay us because they're saying it's an act of God. Well, what isn't an act of God? Valid point. Look, if you believe in God, that's sort of a definition of him, isn't it? <laughs> that he does everything. Valid isn't point. that right? <laughs> everything is an act of him. He's all-powerful, he's everywhere at once. He invented everything, there was nothing before him. He invented time, everything. He's across it all, okay? He doesn't miss a trick, and he's not absent-minded. A volcano going off isn't like him going, fuck, I left the oven on. You know, it's... <laughs> and who are these insurance companies that can decide what is and isn't an act of God? How do they know, okay? Have they got a hotline to God? They call him up, do they? Ring, 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 ring. Yellow. Uh, could I speak to God, please? Speaking. Oh, I didn't think you'd answer the phone yourself. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> oh, um, that volcanic ash cloud. Uh, was that you? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that was an act of me, all right. <laughs> so I shouldn't pay out. No, don't fucking pay him a penny, son. No. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. While I've got you here, um, did you make a tree fall on Steve Baxter's car? <laughs> There's a lot of Steve Baxters. Um, Steve Baxter, to Acacia Road, Hounslow. It happened at 2.15 on the 3rd of June this year. 2.15, 3rd of June. No, that wasn't me. I was in Africa that day giving AIDS to babies. <laughs> Sitting at home, just reading the newspaper. This little girl comes running in. She's only six. Hello, darling. Hello, daddy. You've been playing? Yeah. In the park? Yeah. With your friends? Well, until the man came along. Till the man came along? Yeah, a man came along, and he asked my friends to leave, so it was just me and him. Darling, come, come over. Oh, whatever happened, none of it was your fault, okay, darling? None of it was your fault, but tell Daddy every detail. What happened? Um, he took me behind a tree so no one could see what you we were doing. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Um, he took my dress off. Oh, God, what happened next? What happened? Um, he took his thing out. Oh, God, darling, and then what happened? Nothing, that was it. Oh, we'll make something up. He was the ringleader. Old Adolf. That name's died out, hasn't it? <laughs> he killed that dead, didn't he? No one's calling their kid Adolf nowadays. No little Adolf's going to school. Loads of Brads and Angelinas, but no... Look, you don't hear the teacher doing the register. Brad here, Angelina here, Adolf here. Uh, <laughs> Whoa! I do that quick so no one can take a picture of me doing that. Um, no, but people make excuses for him. People say, 
Uh, uh, oh, he was stupid, he was easily led, he didn't, he didn't mean that. What do you mean he didn't mean that? They say, oh no, he was influenced by the political philosopher, Friedrich Nietzsche, right? Because Nietzsche wrote this paper um, talking about a, a superman. He, he said, not all men are born equal. And Hitler misinterpreted this and went way too far with it. And uh, <laughs> think of that. You're a great scholar, you've done this work, and you get a call from the Führer. And the Führer goes, all right, Nietzsche. He goes, yeah, good, what do you want? He goes, just read your book. What do you think? Love it. <laughs> Love all that, man and Superman, not everyone's equal, kill all the Jews. Sorry? <laughs> not everyone's equal, so kill all the Jews. I didn't like that. <laughs> I read between the lines. I, I, I didn't mean that, that's terrible, have you? You haven't been killing... You haven't, you haven't been killing Jewish people, have you? What? <laughs> <laughs> have you been killing Jewish people? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> A few. How many? <coughs> Six million. Six million? That's what I won't do anymore. Leave it. Leave it at six. That's terrible. I won't do any more. Stay for dinner? Well, I will, but be careful in future. I will. Are you writing any other books? Well, I am, but I'm scared to tell you about it. I won't do anything. What's your new book called? My new book is called The Gypsies. Do we need them? We've come a long way from it being punishable to total equality as it should be of course in england the gauge of consent same as heterosexuality now um 16 and even gay marriage um although ironically the one place that was really ahead of the game fell behind a little at the last election california they had a referendum they put it to the vote and they voted no to gay marriage i mean in california there's people going that's why we moved here i mean it's uh, <laughs> It's a strange sort of bigotry that you can affect someone else's lifestyle that doesn't affect you back. It's not like they asked a bloke once, said, sorry, um, do you mind if these two men get married? And he went, no, fine, okay, jack them off then. What? I didn't know that was... <laughs> that doesn't happen, does it? That does... Bro, I love, I love dark comedy. Like, I make some dark jokes, bro, and I love comedians that are just willing to go there. And just, you know, because everything... When it comes to comedy, everything is not off limits. There's nothing that's off limits. It's a joke. You know, it, it, it's supposed to be humor. It's supposed to be taken as a joke. Like, I, I truly enjoy that, bro. I truly enjoy it. It doesn't happen. <laughs> it's also a strange sort of bigotry because these people that object to that were pr presumably the same people that said, you know, uh, gay people were immoral and promiscuous, but now they don't want it to be monogamous and respectful in the eyes of God. And it must be so confusing to a gay guy in California thinking, that's the bit they don't like. With all the other shit we get up to, it's the marriage bit. They must be so confused. They must go to judges and go, sorry, can I get the rules straight? What do you want to know? I just didn't know what we can and can't do. Ask away. Can I marry a man? No. Can I fuck him up the arse and give him a little reach round? <laughs> Please. <laughs> Can't marry him. No. But I, and the little. Can I? Can, can I pick up a stranger in the bushes and take him home and jizz on him and throw him out in the morning all crusty and homeless? Of course you can, yeah. But I couldn't marry him, no. And, no, and don't ask again. Right. Could I line up 15 men? I'm just riffing here. <laughs> <laughs> Can I line up 15 men and just jack them off for a laugh? <laughs> if you want, yeah. Yeah. It would be difficult, wouldn't it? Jacking off 15 men at once. It would be like plate spinning, <laughs> wouldn't it? No. Because you'd have, you could only do two at once, really. So you'd have these two ready to blow, but then they'd be losing it and you'd go, oh, fucking hell. Oh, there you go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> and it 
That boy's sick. Knackering, jacking off 15 men at once. <laughs> Never thought I'd say that. Oh. Uh, he's funny. I'm going to have to react to some more of him, man. If you guys like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button for me. Thank you guys for commenting, sharing, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.